So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure. I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I said goodbye, Auntie. Wherever you are. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Hi there. Um, hi? So who are you visiting today? Huh? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um... No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know... I'll be back. See you around. I've never seen this kid. Hello again. Really? I. Hey, what can I. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean. I How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could. Out of my. I wouldn't do that. Why? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with all I have to do is hit. Are you serious? Totally serious. I don't believe. Who is this? Nishanti. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to... You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing. But I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great. Call her up. She's not here. So I gotta wait here all day. You might have to. Although... So, you to look for a woman, and if she... Then, and only... Th That's pretty much it. This is real... I'm not the one who forgot... How long is this drive? I don't know. Could be a on whether they reach it. I don't know. Please, I've I need to get home. Sorry, lady. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expect- I've got this letter right- Okay, go right in. His name's on the door, you can't miss it. Thanks. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Yes? I'm Rose Angela Black. Oh, hello. You got my letter, I trust? Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Thanks. My aunt is at P. Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? But before we go into that, how are you holding up? I'm fine. Why? Oh, no reason. Just asking questions. Goes with right. Yes, I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. It's not like I knew her. Or even remember her from... She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting? 
She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation, like I... And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead. Life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest... I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. Okay, I am this close to leave. Why am I here? Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be just an informal chat. And yours too, of course. You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remained fascinating. I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely profession. I didn't know your aunt personally. Ne but fascinating. It might come as a surprise to you. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I... Well, as you know, she wasn't... Ex right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sit especially in preparation for your... What are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell, we are not... We're not content to merely keep... We are, after all, in the healing... Per we were trying to heal your aunt, and to do... Wait, you spoke to Auntie. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell... Do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming, her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, when we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her, her natural state. I'm sorry. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense, but one thing was clear. Pain? What kind of... It's difficult to say, but it was... How immense. When we reduced her medication, the transformation... Her eyes flew open, she thrashed, her screams. Oh my god. I know. Did she still... We don't know. There's no way of knowing. Twenty-five years. I know. Poor auntie. Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion... Th Sorry, did you say her... Yes, to your aunt and your grandmother... My grandmother? Yes, Patricia, I think her name was. I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with a family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Di no, you are correct. I should have read the family. I do apologize. I just... Well, it doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at... What are you saying? No. I'm saying that there is... So... I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms. Patricia's case was severe. Until... Until 20 years later, when it's... It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. You couldn't find any other link but None, aside from... And... Uh, a name? What? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal. During her more lucid moments... She uttered the name, your aunt too, would cry out that name. Joey? Yes. We've been wondering the same thing for 20... So what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no... I just want you to be aware, and come talk to me if... Is there anything else you need to tell me before... Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the... It's just a folder, some document. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks. It's no problem at all. My schedule is fairly open now, so I'm always happy to discuss my favorite. Sure. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same. I Although the dog park is empty. I mm. 
Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. That's her. Nishanti Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. Uh, excuse? I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staying. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. The dog's leash is tied to the trash can. I'm not untying. That's Nishanti Sharma, my next door neighbor. She's playing some sort of flute. The dog's leash is tied to the trash can. I don't think so. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. Oh, don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. There. I can't take you. Oh, it's you, the lady next door. Rhonda, isn't it? No, Rosangela. Well, Rosa, I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. That's a... Isn't he just... Normally he behaves, but he seems to have taken... Oh, anyway, I don't think we've formally met... I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um, yes? I have a... Go ahead and ask. You know that building serviceman? Yes. Jim Birdo is... Yeah, that's the problem. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? So you need me to vouch for... Yeah, I know... Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky and... Let's get you home. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. I just... All right. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. 